Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new ch new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1092. This episode right here was actually pretty cool, and even though we are going to go into a small special break, if anything, for next week, it is fine. So if anything else, let's just get this started, alright? Okay, let's go. We have to it, you know, like after the opening and all, you know, a recap here and there. We get to see CP0 on their way to like um, go visit Vegapunk and return this Kuma looking like um, possible Seraphim, you know? Now, I know what it is off from the get go. I'm just trying to tone it down for anime onlys, okay? That's just how I am, you know? Because. You know, you get the idea. Anyways, um, we see CP0 of Kaku and Luchi going to Vegapunk and they have a mission to assassinate him. But there are actually different types of Vegapunks over there. We saw Shaka and Lilith and we saw Atlas over there. We have yet to see Edison, Pythagoras and York, which apparently they are blackened in silhouette or something or overshadowed if anything and so forth. But that aside, it looks like to me, you know, Luffy, Bonnie, and Chopper finish their eating, you know, and having a comedic time with the garbage dog that eats garbage, you know, or recyclables. You get the idea. Sorry about that. But that aside, that was pretty. That was pretty fun. But now we get to see Luffy, Jinbei, Chopper, and Bonnie like um changing their like um clothes, you know. But apparently this brings the attention of the police Kuma and this actually frightened Luffy a bit saying that we gotta run because this is not some kind of like, um, whatchamacallit, um, ordinary enemy we should be taking on alone. I don't know. But one thing's for certain is that like, um, Luffy does make the good point to run. However, running is pointless. Luffy was about to make an attack on the, on the police Kuma looking like Pasha Vista whatsoever, but Bonnie stops him. By kicking him by saying, please don't hurt my daddy. He's my only family. And this this shocks Luffy, Jinbei, and Chopper very much. And Luffy tries to run in to save Bonnie be before she gets blasted away by a laser beam, you know? And so forth. Now, the ending of the episode shows Law and his crew, like, sailing around. However, they become very unlucky and find themselves against Blackbeard, Teach, and his pirate crew, you know? And we got to know what devil fruit they have, which I won't say here, because unless you watch the episode, you get the idea. Unless you haven't, and you just want to get the idea simplification of it, sorry, I don't give much detail and so forth, so you're going to have to find out yourself, okay? Sorry for being rude or being a eh, jerk about it, but yeah. Anyways... This episode right here involves, you know, some nice, fun stuff on Egghead Island before we get to see Law getting ready to clash against Blackbeard, you know? And looks like to me, Law's in very bad shape and bad luck because even as powerful as he is now, he has no chance against um, a Yonko at all. Because think about it for a second, alright? Think back in Wano that it took Law and Kid to take down Big Mom. At this point, even with this awakened form, there's no way he's going to win. That is just final. In order to take down a Yonko, it's like a raid boss, okay? You need at least 20 or many powerful people on your side to take down a powerful boss. And honestly, Marsha D. Teach is one of them. Now, many might be saying this and that, you know, but hey, even when Law just... Awaken this devil fruit. It takes a lot of stamina out of him. So pretty much even if he were to last a little longer. He still wouldn't stand a chance. Because one. Blackbeard's crew are devil fruit hunters. Okay. They will steal any devil fruit from a person. And take it as their own. Which I believe if it was revealed explicitly of what happened. It would not be a shonen. That is to be guaranteed. So until then people. I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!